What's going on, everyone? It's the Nisco. Welcome back to Yoshi's Island. Or better yet, welcome back to the level I don't like. Don't look back. This level is... Oh my god, it's annoying. Uh, so first they show you... Hey, we're bringing back touch plates. You remember that stuff from World 2? You may have kind of, sort of liked. Well, we're bringing it back. And it's actually kind of deceiving because there's tons of coins up here you don't know which ones are red but the only thing you need to worry about over here is the flower and then you can come over here and press all the touch plates because it's a lot of fun Woo! look at me go and you've also added extra challenge because now the touch plates are gone and if you fall you are dead but luckily these really slow moving balloons are here to assist you Ah, uh, this first part of the level I don't really like, and hey, there's also fly guys everywhere, and this is totally worth it, because I'm not going to lose that fly guy again. In case you haven't noticed, I've had to do this a couple times because of missing one fly guy, so you know what? Time to show off the magnifying glass. The magnifying glass has two major functions. The first one is showing you where all the red coins are for example. And the other one is it also shows any secret bubbles in the level. So that becomes really handy. Alright, here in the middle of the stage here is a multicolored prawn and... Did I just hit him? I did! One more! Oh no! Now ah, helicopter out of the way! I almost had some amazing shots there. You ruined it for me! And now you hit me! So you must perish... Nah, I think I'll just get these uh, red coins and uh, turn you into a turn you into a star. There we go. I don't know what it is about this level in particular that just gets me. Maybe it's the number of fly guys. Maybe it's because they're using the gimmick touch plate thing, and if you screw up, you're dead. Uh, it just mm, it gets on my nerves sometimes. I think it's mainly the fly guys. And here's the, the magnifying glass working. And just a one-up, nothing big. So I'll wait for that bullet bill, thank you. And here, there's really nothing you need to worry about, except getting hit by the fire. And fly guy, yep. Basically, I had to redo this entire level so many times just to remember where all the f fly guys are. Jeez. Stuff is going wrong. And actually, that um, one there with that one-up thing, and you're not getting away! That was replaced with balloons in the Game Boy Advance version, because they think you deserve another extra life, even though currently I think in my GBA playthrough I have over 200 lives, and not cheating either. That's just from playing through, just playing through the game, getting all those lives. Uh, right here, uh, flower. I, I just don't understand, like... It's almost like the concept and design of the level keeps changing the farther you go in. Because you had that, you need to keep going. It says don't look back, so maybe that's the theme here. You just gotta keep going, or else you're gonna die. But if you keep going too much, you're gonna miss the fly guys. And there's multi piranhas everywhere, and I freaking hate these guys. They're such inconvenient places. And this may not be, like, the best. I will admit right here, this isn't my best playing. But it's just 4 1, 4 3, they are my enemy. But this part, on the other hand, I actually kind of like. Because we're introduced to one mechanic here that I believe is only in this level blowing up a balloon. Fascinating. And then you just ride it to the end. If you're a good shot, you can get a straight line of coins, but since I'm not that good of a shot with constant motion, which I'm really surprised my emulator didn't bug out for this part of the level. Coins, coins everywhere. It's just a little bonus here, and there is stuff to miss. And this is why I wanted to use the magnifying glass, because there might be some red coins up here. Oh, I don't know. Actually, they're not that big of jerks, because all the red coins that are up here are right here in a nice straight line. And here's a bunch of one-ups for you. Just saying, hey, good job, you took the right path. Now, I'm not going to go through here, because I want to show you something. And, whoa, fly guy? Fly guy, gimme. You actually don't die if you fall down. Surprise, there is actually something else that you can do to get some other extra lives. Allow me to show you. If you come all the way over here, 
and head back down. See, this is where you would have to go if you messed up on the balloon and you would miss out on the red coins and everything. But if you come down here, there's tons of coins you can get. There's more stars just in case you got hurt. But there are also one-ups here. Eat the balloons and you'll fart out one-ups, I guess. But there's also the ending here. So, either or, you're still getting a few one-ups. But thank god this level's done! And I... I did get 100%. Fingers crossed. Please, oh please, oh please! Yes! Thank you! Never have to come back to this place. Never, ever, ever. Alright, off to the fort. Oh, a marching mile, eh? Let's go! Even more going. Sorry, I had to leave there for a second. Marching Miles Fort. Now, this level, I don't know what it is. It's like every other level they have a good idea. And this is one of them. Alright, so we're going on here, this little stance out, and hey, emulator, you gave it away. Oh my god, what is that? I think that was every kid's reaction when they first saw the big shark chasing them in Marching Miles Fort. Ah! Get away, get away! And... Oh, you silly person. You hurt your teeth. Get out of here. Yeah. Out of nowhere, you just get what's called a big shark. And it just chases you through the first part of the level. No rhyme or reason, but hey, whatever. I haven't done a ricochet shot in a while. Hey, there we go. I need to show off every once in a while. Now, for some reason, in this fort, in the Game Boy Advance version, they close you off from the beginning of the level, but also they put a star ring on top of the pipe up there. But there's also, like, two down here. So they really simplified it, and I don't blame them, because this is kind of a hard fort. Four different rooms, and you need to get four different keys, each one having its own theme. And this one is all plants. Now you may be thinking, oh, well, plants, why do I need to worry about plants? All the plants you've met up to now are here. Piranha plants, the spitter homing plants, whatever. They're after you too. Also, the multicolored plants that I just love so much, sarcasm totally, are also here. And it also, these little uh, circular things, I don't know what you call them. They also play a big part here in this fort in particular. I hate you, plant. I hate you so much. But yeah, these things are everywhere. And the one you saw back there, the blue one, that one will actually disappear. So it's twice as slow, and it disappears. Kind of a jerk move, and this guy's going to fall right on me. So there we go. All right. Let's get rid of you. Some nice shots. Hit the key. Later, I actually missed some things. Right up here. Stars! Which, I probably could have planned that better. Uh, well, who needs planning? This is totally a blind let's play of Yoshi's Island. And up here, just in case you kept getting hurt, there should be some stars on the other side. Yep. At least I hope these are stars. Don't call me a liar, game. Another red coin, and we're off. So now, need to keep... It's actually kind of cool, like, if you want some extra challenge, try to go through this entire fort without using any of the keys and only using it when you need to. Because through that door, there's other doors that need unlocked by a key. And the extra challenge comes in, eventually you're only going to be able to have two eggs, which you may or may not need them. We'll just have to see, huh? Get past this guy, eat him. Don't even worry about trying to dodge him or anything. Just eat him. All right, here in the lava room, we're actually introduced to a new enemy. I can't believe it. New enemies, new everything in every single world. They always introduce something new, which I love about games like this. They, they like, never recycle. There's our new enemy. You might remember them from Super Mario World. These are Blars. Yeah, they look a little different than the guys that just peeked up and went brar. These ones spit lava, so we won't even worry about them. Little known fact, Neppy Nuts is part of the Blarg family. Cool. 
because we all need to know about Yoshi's Island biology. Normally, after I do two rooms, just so I don't have to go through them all again, I normally use the middle ring. You don't have to. It's okay. But right here is the, well, I don't know, Needle Bandits room, I guess? They, they really don't do anything. And at first, when I was first playing this back when I was a kid, I didn't think you could eat these guys. Because regular bandits, you can't do it by the way. Good shot. There were only two red coins there. I didn't know you could eat the bandits, but luckily you can, so no problems. I honestly don't know why they went with bandits as one of their, like, trials to get through Marching Miles for it. I guess they couldn't think of anything else? I don't know. Okay, this is actually kind of a cool room. The key is right there. Get it fast. Oh no, I fell and I'm okay. It's got kind of a little freak out moment there just to get first timers. So it leads you just right out here. Just don't fall. Please do not fall. So now we'll go through the real door, which I don't know why they could, they had you go left, right. I guess it's just to throw in some, a little bit of flair, I don't even know. Alright, the last trial of Marching Miles Fort. It's to Death Crystals! Oh, I don't wanna. I know I complain a lot, but seriously, it's a good game. Here's where the added challenge comes in of only having three eggs. But luckily they give you uh, a lot of fun. There's a lot of fun to be had in this part of the room in particular, because it just doesn't stop bouncing. Unless you hit a... <laughs> oh, there's... Oh, it's everywhere. Everything's everywhere. No, there's... Now there's real bandits. Gotta worry about those guys. You don't want to lose stars, but for some reason, there's bubbles everywhere to get more stars. So they thought ahead, thinking, oh, these guys are going to get hit by the bandits if they're, you know, young kids. But no worries. Whoops. How did that how did that happen? <sighs> I bet you anything, it's just stars. And I'm just wasting my Yep. So I just wasted my time and yours. And who are these guys again? I forget who they are. Are these sniffits? I think these guys are sniffits. I don't know, the guys that shoot bullets in Mario 2. And now they're back. So, bullets... Oh, that was properly timed. Bullets and insta-death crystals are your last trial, and... Honestly, I think this one's the easiest. I mean, you also got bandits to contend with, but they can die with one ground pound. But right here might get a little difficult. Especially if you're playing how I am, which is <laughs> just one or three egg slots. But sadly, I'm out. You can go away. And now I'm just going to... <laughs> I'm going to farm eggs. Hurry up. All right, there we go. Stars? Yes. Key? Yes. So there we go. All four keys. Gimme. Oh, don't even need to worry about you. Do need to worry about that. Though. Here's one of the last red coins. Don't forget it. So now we can go unlock all those doors. Fascinating. Let's do it. Now, I think they... I don't know how you create a world in a video game where every other level is good. Because I love this level. I mean, I love the key idea. I love the multiple trials idea. It's just perfect. I don't know what they're trying to show in all of these rooms. Oh, last red coin. Uh, got it. Cool. I got one final trap, I guess. So you get all the way through, and you get plenty of marching miles. Now this actually makes sense, because this is the boss we're going to be fighting. One more ring, and off we go to fight marching miles. Let's see what Kamek has to say. Did you read your lines this time? 
Ooh, getting a little scared, are you? You don't... We're making it closer to where you are. All right. Beware of the Mode 7. He grows. Oh, here is Marching Mild. You can't hit him with eggs, and you can't regularly jump on him like you could a regular Marching Mild. So there's only one more thing we can do. Split him in half! Yeah, you need to ground pound these giant miles. Now, if you run directly into them, they will still hurt you. It's not like you're going to bounce off of them like you would their head. Like that. So you just gotta keep ground pounding until you get to the smaller ones, which you can just regularly step on. And it's actually kind of funny that... Oh, jeez! That was almost terrible. There's two ways, technically, to beat this boss. I mean, you could eat all the miles if you wanted to. But I just prefer killing them as Kamek wanted you to die, by stepping on them. And I think it just fits. And these two are gone! The really funny thing is, when you beat Marching Mild by eating all of them, it looks like you're farting rainbows. It's hilarious. So, there we go. The Fort of World 4 completed with 100%. Again, one of the cooler levels. I don't know why it's every other level. Oh, uh, well, this one's okay, too. So, next time on Yoshi's Island, we're going to be hitting the next two levels of World 4. See you guys next time.